from Blacksburg or Grafton. This is a state championship game. As you play the game, it's not – it's not decided on paper. If it's decided on paper, Blacksburg would have done one. We don't need to be here. But it's decided on the field. This team lost to Jamestown 4-1 to one in the regular season. They beat Jamestown in the playoffs. This team lost to Smithfield, who lost. They've lost to some very, very good teams. They've played some good teams. York, they played York. They beat York. Who was in the championship Who was in the 3A championship earlier here. today. So, like we were talking in that game, the, win, uh, the winner of that, had a chance to, to have something special happen there, too, that either the Bay Rivers District or the River Ridge could have the first time that in soccer you have the three and four A state champions come out of your district. Blacksburg has a chance to do that as well, keeping it in the district. You know, that's another thing to fight for. Blacksburg is also looking at, at the Wells Fargo Cup. They win this game. I'm pretty sure that that's wrapped up. If they don't, it could come down to the Claudia Dotson Award and Loudoun Valley could slip in the back door. So that five to ten points that's sitting out there for them and that, and believe me, Blacksburg wins the, if they could pull off and win the Wells Fargo Cup, that's a record, state record, 13 in a row, 13 of those they would have as well. I believe it was Oscar Smith that they're tied with right now. Yeah, Oscar Smith and Blacksburg both have 12 Wachovia Cups or Wells Fargo Cups or before that, it was SunTrust or whatever it is, but those two have 12. Oscar Smith will not win 6A. Blacksburg has a chance to win it in 4A. Blacksburg will move from our right to our left. Conversely, it will be Grafton. The Clippers will move from our left to our right. And the one thing that fans of Blacksburg were wondering, well, what's going to happen if Blacksburg ever gets behind in a game? Well, that happened in the semifinal. Blacksburg responded with six unanswered goals. Initial volley comes back to the keeper for Grafton. And this will be an interesting matchup on this back line. Boxburg's back line is young. And number 13 for Grafton, Chase Green, he's who they want to go over the top to. And he's matched up. He's going to be matched up with Stu Forsman and uh, and Nick Stilwell, number 13 for Boxburg. Nick's a sophomore. Stu's a junior. You know, they're two of the younger – well, for Blacksburg, uh, Stillwell is one of the many younger ones out here of the seven sophomores they have. So, Player to watch for Blacksburg, number 14, the center midfielder, Austin Bissell. He is committed to play soccer collegiately at Radford University. This is Alex Mills dribbling along the left side. Drops it off to Tate Pospichal in the corner. There's a very large umbrella that is blocking our view of the corner it will be difficult for us to give calls in that part of the field looks like it's a throw in that came into Blacksburg and here is a cross goes over the head of Bailey, Bailey Prosser. Prosser but he does chase it down and one thing you'll watch about Blacksburg is the team speed they have team speed all across the field Prosser Tries to send it in. Back it comes to Salem. Salem along the far side to Shanae. Shanae to Bissell. Back to Shanae. Back to Bissell. Bissell sends it in. Tried to hit his teammate Dickinson, and it's going to roll. Across the far touch line, a throw in near the corner will come. From Bailey Prosser. Look for Bailey to get this in the box and try to get Sam Dickinson or somebody ahead on it right here. And it comes Pospichal. Dickinson off his chest. Sends it into the net. And just like that, Blacksburg takes the lead. That was a great throw by Bailey, and that was an even better, even better chest by chest down and, and shot by Sam Dickinson. Sam Dickinson. Gets his 11th goal of the year, and it comes very, very quickly for Blacksburg. It's at the 37-45 mark of the first half of play. Well, that's pretty efficient. One shot, one goal. So, Well, if you're grafting, you got to say to yourself, well, we were hoping we could keep it scoreless at least for a while. But Blacksburg flexing its muscle early. This is Mills. 
And that's the one, one difference between Blacksburg and other teams in this game. Blacksburg doesn't come in here ten, intimidated, tense, or anything. I mean, I'm sure that you got, as soon as the ball is kicked off, you got butterflies. Of course you're going to. But when you're here every year, and it seems like they're here every year, and they have been for the past six, they come in here, they expect to win this game. They expect to come in here and dominate from the opening tip. Whereas Grafton, first time here, you know there's butterflies. So there's a feeling out process for them. Where Blacksburg is going to come in, they're like, hey, we're just going to play our game. And we're going to have a foul called on Grafton. On number 17, Justin Leppa. And we'll have a free kick coming for Blacksburg. And more often than not, it will be Bissell who will make those free kicks. He will lightly send it to Salem. Yeah. Salem across the field to Shanae. Shanae tries to send it into Pospichal. Pospichal goes down. And we're going to have. Looks like we're going to have a free kick from. Uh, a free kick coming just outside of the penalty box. Look for a minute like the official might be reaching for his card, but he did not. But Blacksburg with another golden opportunity to get up quickly 2 nothing. And this, this is either more than likely this is going to be Bissell, but this could also be Salem on the side it is. So look for them to do possibly a little trickery or a little short tap to the other and the other to kind of set it in, or for one of them just to put this over the top and try to put it in the net. An interesting little bit of jockeying going on north of the free kick. Involving Sam shot. And it comes, and there's the give and go, and here it is. The kick that comes in cleared by Grafton. Shanae off his chest, controls it. And that was very nearly two to nothing. That come off the post. This is shot. He'll send it back to Forsman. Forsman will send it over to Bissell. Bissell tries to get it into Alex Mills. Along the left side, Blacksburg will quickly throw it in. Shot will get it into Dickinson. Dickinson sends it to Bissell. Back to Dickinson. Dickinson with a nice slip move around a defender. Sends it back to Mills. Mills stops for a moment. Sends a shot attempt in, but gets nowhere near the net. And Grafton clears. And that's what Grafton wants to do right here. Send it deep and let Green run under it. But that was great defense right there by, Taken by Forsman to by take Forsman. it away. And, and he didn't allow him to turn. Up it comes to Mills. Mills will let it go off of his right foot. Throw in by Thong Vasa. And it comes to Ehlers. Back to Thong Vasa. He sends it towards the Blacksburg box. Clearing it away as Forsman kicks it once. Kicks it a second time. This is Bailey Prosser. Advancing the ball, and he is tripped, and we will have a foul called. And that's where you're going to get calls, like uh, whether it's a, a flop or not. They're going so hard with the ball and the players behind that the official is going to give. It's just like you say in basketball and other sports. You give calls to max effort or aggressiveness. And, it, and that seems to be like what he's looking at. You know, I didn't think that should have been called, but he was going so hard and it came from behind that he felt compelled to call it. Six and a half minutes in to the first half of play. Blacksburg already up one to nothing. It was Sam Dickinson with the goal at 37.45 mark. This is Dickinson with the ball again, stops, does a nice head fake. Dribbles through a couple defenders, and then he trips and goes down. Thong Vasa looked like he tripped Dickinson, but the official says all clean. It'll be another goal kick. That's a good goal kick there. Good call. Let's see if it will be the keeper that's going to make this Sabacic or no, it is Thong Vasa. Mills. Gets it. He had to take Pospisal in scoring position. It looks but like a corner kick now. A corner kick coming up for Blacksburg. 
And Austin Bissell is very adept at placing corner kicks right in front of the net. Not short of the net, not long of the net, not on the post, not on the far post, right in front. And this might be a short tap. To, if not, it's coming into Stillwell. Here it comes. The header was attempted by Forsman. Grafton able to clear it out. Stillwell being contested on the far side. Able to control it. Sends it back to Forsman. Well, check that. It's going to be Mills that will come in front of Forsman. Mills tried to send it straight ahead to Pospisil. Intercepted by Daniel Hoffman of Grafton. Deep it goes. This is green. So dangerous on these types of plays. He's able to stop the ball. He goes down. Blacksburg able to clear it. No call. Prosser delivering upfield. Tried to hit Pospisil. Grafton able to intercept and take it away. Pospisil down. Now he gets back up. This that looks like Prosser over there. Salem has it blocked. They're going to say it was last off of Salem. Big throw down in the corner. And just booted away by Connor Cheney. Daniel Salem, he spells it S-A-L-O-M, but pronounced like the city in which we are sitting right now, S-A-L-E-M. And we will have a substitution for Grafton. Momentary stoppage in play. Actually, two substitutions for Grafton. And in comes the throw in. Headered. And Blacksburg able to clear. Pospisil. Thought he had it. Taken away by Grafton. Nice play there. Nice footwork. In comes across. Green was near the penalty box. Back it comes. Grafton getting a little bit of pressure on Blacksburg. And this one will go. Goal kick. Across the end line, a goal kick for the Bruins. And that will be the first goal kick of the game for Blacksburg. Their sophomore keeper is Jordan Stevens, 45 saves on the year, 11 shutouts, 21 and 0. Dickinson headers it over to Prosser. Prosser working the ball nicely. Sent it down to Pospisil. Grafton able to get it out. Forsman rides it out. Good defense. Good body blocking by Blacksburg. Shanae will walk it up. Now send it deep up to Dickinson. Dickinson controlling. Waits for help. Sends it across the way to Bissell. Bissell sends it over to Shot. Shot up to Salem. Salem has Mills to his left. A nice move by Salem. Sends it over to Mills. Mills sends it in front. Tried to hit Salem on a cross. Mills slips on the turf. And it will be a foul called. No, it will be a throw in for Blacksburg. And speaking of speed, the speed demon is actually coming in right now for Blacksburg. Cade, Cade Wheeler. Wheeler. And he has a set of wheels. If there is a long kick anywhere in the lane where Cade Wheeler is, just watch, folks, how fast he gets up to it. It will be Tate Pospisil that will take the breather for Blacksburg. Everybody thought Blacksburg's football team was fast. Well, Cade Wheeler is about as fast as some of those boys they have on that team as well. Cade is a four, Cade is a four or five, four or five kid, so he's got some wheels. Grafton trying to get the ball across midfield, sends it forward. It stays in bounds. Shanae able to get it over to Stillwell, who sends it deep up to Wheeler. 
Dickinson jumps up in the air and comes down on the field. A little bit hard, but bounces right back up. I don't know what the temperature is down on the pitch, Ronnie, but it's pouring into our press box right now. It's got to be pretty hot down on the field, I would think, right now as well. Yeah, I would say it's probably up close to 90 because it looks like the uh, the clouds and stuff are starting to roll, roll on in here. Last touched by Wheeler as the ball goes across the end line. And it is actually 85 degrees right now with humidity. It probably feels about 90. We'll see if we'll have those mandatory water breaks that we had in the Class 3 boys game. Roughly about the halfway point of each half, the officials stopped play, and both teams came over and got hydrated. We'll see if that happens in this game as well. Taken away by Blacksburg. This is Salem dribbling in an open field. Now he has a teammate come up to help him. This is Dickinson. Dickinson dribbling. Sends it back to Salem. Salem begins in advance. Sends it over to Mills. Give and go. And comes back to Bissell. Sam Schott sends it down to Salem. And he has it. Salem gets away, gets a push. So Taken a away. foul. Salem pushes, and it'll come the other way. Well, Blacksburg got that very quick goal, Ronnie, and they've had opportunities since, but Grafton so far over the last probably 15 minutes or so doing a nice job of thwarting any serious attempts that Blacksburg has of putting the ball in the net. Well, like I said, they play hard. They're, they're aggressive. They're going to contest everything, and they just had to settle in. But that's the problem when, when you're – when you're new to something like this and you go up against Blacksburg who's not, they're already settled in. They're ready to play. This is what they play. They don't play their best ball during the regular season sometimes. They wait till this time of year. They look forward to this every year. Bissell sends it along the side to Bailey Prosser. Bissell and Prosser are the only two seniors in this starting lineup for Blacksburg. and That's got to be awfully scary to the rest of – the teams that are going to be on Blacksburg schedules over the next couple of years, just two seniors on a team that is 21-0 and and has a youth program in New River United that just continues to feed this program with talent year after year after year. As good as this Blacksburg team is right now, Ronnie, a couple of years from now, they could be practically incredible. Well, you look at it, they have a great youth program. They have a lot of kids that play in the ODP, play on all these travel teams both in the state and some out of state. But the biggest thing is it's they buy into the culture at Blacksburg High School, Shelly Blumenthal's culture, you know, and that's the biggest thing because you have a lot of these kids that play on the, on the New, New River United teams that go to Christiansburg, they go to Radford. And I mean, they're successful there, but not like they are here. Here is a streaking Jordan Judge heading down the near side. But the ball goes across the touch line, and Blacksburg will throw it in. It will be Sam Schott. He will send it in up to Alex Mills. Ball bounces once. Mills sends it to the middle of the field where it's taken away by Grafton. Nice pass over to Hoffman. Up near the top of the box, Blacksburg able to take it away. This is Mills. He'll send it backward to Bissell. Bissell will send it back to Mills. Dickinson, though, comes in front of it. Dickinson will control it. He'll they just send it to Bissell. They just move the ball so well together. Long pass comes downfield to Prosser, who likes to patrol that right side. That's where he feels most at home. The ball stays in play. Salem unable to control the header, but back it goes to Bissell. Bissell will send it on the far side to Cheney. Back to Bissell. Bissell sends it long to the near side. To Sam Schott. 
who sends it back to Bissell. And right now, Blacksburg is just feeling out to seeing if they can find a zone. And they tried to hit Bailey Prosser heading into the box. Grafton able to take the ball away. Like we said, Grafton settled down. That defense. There's a collision. Their defense is playing well back here right now. So it's going to be hard to score. Shot quickly bounces up. Streaking down the sideline as Jordan Judge stops. Tries to get it back to Daniel Hoffman, and we're going to have a foul called on Alex Mills. It'll be a free kick and for the Clippers. And this is where Grafton got back in the game yesterday off a free kick. Won the goalie and player, and defenseman miscommunicated miss, uh, one went in. The other, it was just an open shot. So, And this is the guy that did it. Number 18, Daniel Hoffman. This He's got a cannon leg. It's about a 32 or so yard kick and a little bit of angle, so maybe about 34 yards perhaps to the front of the goal. And he's got his favorite target, Green, right down there in the front. He sends it, and it's headed away by Blacksburg. Here's a deflection off of the head of a Blacksburg player, and Jordan Stevens will come up to grab the ball. He'll sling it sidearm style up to Alex Mills. Running up the near side, sends it long for Cade Wheeler, a little bit too long. Judge able to get back to it, but it comes back to Shot, who sends it in the middle of the field with the quarterback of the Blacksburg offense, Bissell. Bissell sends it long. Prosser out in the corner on the far side. He'll dribble around a defender, dribble around another defender, send it back to Shanae. Janae dribbles to his right, has a couple defenders on him. And it goes out, and it will be Grafton bringing it back left to right. Well, Blacksburg dominating the first 20 minutes of play, but like we saw in the game that preceded this one, Western Albemarle, for the longest of time, was thoroughly dominating Brentsville District, but they only had a 1-0 lead until the latter part of the second half when Western Albemarle got a couple of goals to up the advantage to the final score of three to nothing. Same thing happening here, Ronnie. It could be history repeating itself. Only difference is Blacksburg's looking for shots and not taking wild shots. Right now they're passing the ball down here, and you've got to give credit to, to Grafton's back line. They're playing solid. They're not affording them any shots. So as long as that happens... You know, it, it's going to stay one to nothing. Blacksburg's not going to force anything on you. Mills but, is going to come out, and Alex Kim is going to come in. Sorry, Ronnie. But, I mean, they're not going to force anything on you because they don't want – they know how this team looks for you to force it, and then they counterattack over the top on you. And they've got the weapons with uh, number nine, the, or, uh, Thedros, and number uh, 13, Green. Uh, they'll go over the top. And then, of course, you also have number 18, Hoffman. Uh, those three guys, that's who they want to get the ball to up front and score. Speaking of nine, number nine for Blacksburg, Joey Gabbard also in the game. Daniel Salem bends down to tie a shoe, pops back up, gets the pass, sends it over to Sam Schott. He sends it up to Sam Dickinson, who takes off in the middle, sends it in maybe a little bit too long. Can Wheeler save it? He cannot. Goal kick coming. For Grafton, goal kick number four. Eighteen thirty. Remaining in the first half of play, Blacksburg leading one nil. They got a goal from Sam Dickinson at the thirty-seven forty-five mark of the first half. Goal kick comes up near the midfield stride. Blacksburg's Daniel Salem able to take it, and he is knocked down by Robin Ehlers, and it'll be a free kick for Blacksburg. Just inside the circle, it'll be Bissell that will make it. Watch for Bissell to put this in and try to swing some people in. Of course, you got Bailey, Bailey Prosser and Forsman both staying back. So look for him to go short. Yeah, and that's what he does since he's got his two header guys back. Go short and just try to draw something in that way. Shanae sends in a long one, and Cade Wheeler couldn't quite get his head on it. Wheeler gets it back, and Wheeler puts it in the net for the second goal for the Bruins. 
Cade Wheeler with the score. Blacksburg ups its advantage to 2 to nothing at the 17-36 mark of the first period of play. And it's pretty efficient right now. You have three shots, two goals. So Blacksburg ups the advantage to two to nothing. And if you're Grafton, you don't want to let this game get out of hand in the first half of play and let a team like Blacksburg with numerous weapons start to deploy them more liberally than they already are. Bissell sends it to Salem, a little bit strong. Salem will send it to the back line. That's still well. Henry Carmen into the game for Blacksburg, number 19. He's one of the two co-captains for Blacksburg. Bissell the other. Dickinson dribbling. Gets it to Kim. Wheeler knocked down. And we'll have a free kick coming about seven, eight yards outside of the penalty box. And we yeah. saw this yesterday, uh, Mark. This is, uh, this is Bissell territory. From about this same range yesterday, Austin Bissell put one in the net on a free kick that just completely befuddled the goalkeeper. It was, well, if you want to put up a how-to video on doing free kicks from about seven, eight yards outside of the penalty box, yesterday would have been a clinic. Here is Bissell again. Let's see if he tries to put it in the net or whether he tries to hit a teammate coming towards the net. He's going to try to put it in himself, and he does. He does it again. Uh, it looked like that one just went over the top. Oh, it just missed. It looked like, from my vantage point, it was in. That was the same type of tick, same type of kick, but what he does, he's got a little drop on that ball right at the end, and the only thing was that one stayed flat and didn't drop. Yesterday, the goalie thought the ball was over the net, and the ball dropped in the net, and this one, it just stayed right across the bar. But Austin, Austin Bissell is so dangerous from that territory. And are we going to have a change in keepers already? We will. We will have a change in keepers. Sabachik will go out. Coming in is a much taller keeper. That is Nathan Haas. H-A-S-S -S into the game for... The Clippers. Wheeler has it deflect right back to Haas. And a bad touch, or we might have seen what the new goalie could do right off the bat because it was just him and Cade. Salem headers it to Dickinson. Back to Salem to Carmen. Carmen to Salem. Back to Carmen. Dribbles it across the white line to Kim. It'll deflect across the near touch line, and it will be Carmen to throw it in. Well, he will proceed to hand it off to Salem. I guess they're going to say that that was a free kick. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It, it looked like there was a foul. He said something. I don't either. That was a little bit strange. Joey Gabbard gets a shot off. Putting it on frame there. And that's the first save of the day for Grafton. Salem dribbling. Sends it to Carmen. Carmen to Wheeler. Wheeler gets by one defender. Tries to dribble through another. Carmen is able to do so. Sends it to Wheeler. And Wheeler was pushed in the back. We have a corner by John Lee, and that's going to be a corner. It'll be Bissell that will send the corner kick in for the Bruins. They lead it two to nothing. It looked like it was three to nothing, but Bissell's free kick was just above the bar. In it comes. Wheeler got on it momentarily, sends it back to Bissell. He sends it in again, headered again. It was Stu Forsman, one of the defenders, 
Always nice when the defenders can come up and have a shot at one. And his header goes over top. And it'll come the other way on a goal kick. The fifth of the first half by Grafton. Haas puts it on the near side corner. Sends it upfield. Nice timing by Dickinson on the header. But they're going to say Dickinson was a little too aggressive on that header. And yeah, it'll he, come the other way. He climbed the shoulders on that. Blacksburg leading 2-0. 12 remaining in the first half of play. The Class 4 Boys Soccer Championship, the last of four here at Roanoke College today. And this is a ball that deflects off of Grafton across the end line. Jordan Stevens picks it up. And I'll give that the first shot by Green. He headed that towards it, just went wide. In comes the goal kick. Salem has it for Blacksburg. Being guarded closely, he'll send it back to Carmen. Carmen back to Salem. Salem will send it down into the corner. Tried to hit Wheeler, taken away by Grafton. And we're going to have Dickinson called on a foul. And the official... Looked like he may be reaching for a card, but and Sam did not. Sam's just got to go on and leave the ball alone. He should have been carded on that for, for a delay game. But they were going shoulder to shoulder, and the guy went down, and it's the same as what we had over here. You know, it might have been a flop. We've had a couple that, that were a flop and got called. It's the same thing, you know. If you're going to take it, you better be ready to, to receive it if it happens to you. And Bailey Prosser will come back into the game. Cade Wheeler will go out, as will Alex Kim. So Prosser back in, along with Looks like Alex, Alex Mills Alex back Mills. in. 10.45 remaining in this first half of play. And the clouds have covered up the sun, so we have a little bit of relief from the sunshine. Here's a kick across the field to Henry Carmen. Carmen goes down, gets back up. Grafton able to take it away from Blacksburg, sending it up near midfield. Austin Bissell has it. He'll stop, do a 360, dribble across the white line, send it back to Dickinson, who sends it back to Salem. Salem in the general direction and Prosper, or Prosser rather, and Pospichal. Back it comes. Blacksburg has it. Still well. Sends it to Carmen. Carmen to Mills. Mills dribbling. Has two red jerseys on him. Down into the corner, and we cannot see. We apologize for that there. It's a very large umbrella to shade the sun that some of the fans have erected to our left, and we just cannot see into that corner. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick. Goal kick number six for Grafton. And we got a player down for Grafton, so they've stopped time. But it looks like the Grafton coach uh, might be sensing something. He's he's shuffled. He's doing some shuffling of his own. At first, he just brought back in uh, Trey Day, number 20. He usually plays in the back line and moved him up to the front now as a forward with number 18, Daniel Hoffman. And on this last uh, advance, so it looks like coach not afraid to move his people around and, and try something new. So right now he might he must feel, hey, I need to make some changes before halftime. So let's try something, see how it works. Of course, it is looks like number nine, uh, Thedras is back in. Kita Thangvasa is the injured player that is walking off the field. Under his own power, looks like he's okay. And that forces him to move Day back to a defenseman again. So he brings in uh, he brings in Thedris back into the game 
to get some speed up front. Are you surprised that the keeper changed that early? I was very surprised that the keeper changed because I don't think there's anything the keeper did that was wrong. You know, those were just – those shots were just put where they needed to be. And, uh, you know, that stuff happens. Grafton. But he's, he's the coach. You know, he's – he knows his players. He knows what they're capable of and what they're not. So maybe he saw something we didn't. Crafton able to keep it away from the white jerseys. Across the way it comes to Connor Massigan. And that, Carmen gets it back, and it deflects past Alex Mills. It'll be a throw in for Grafton. And that's what Grafton needs to do right now, possess the ball, make Blacksburg chase, make them use some energy. Make them work. Yes, right now they're doing whatever they want, whenever they want. And they're not using much energy at all, and they've got plenty to, plenty to use around the goal, and it showed. They've got four on goal and two that are just above the goal, one that we thought was in, and then one on goal that hit the, po the post. And if it was a – if we weren't, didn't have rounded posts, we had the old square post, that second goal would have been in, the one that it, uh, Alex Mills put his foot into. So – Connor Massignan throws it in. It bounces, still bouncing. And down goes one of the players for Grafton. Blacksburg able to clear it upfield. That was Sam Schott that cleared it. Pospichal dribbling across midfield. Has Mills. Mills takes off, gets past his defender. Into the corner it goes. And we're not sure because our view was blocked. It's a throw in, apparently, coming back quickly to Blacksburg. This is Dickinson sending it across the way to Salem. Salem doinks it over near the touch line. Shot had to run over quickly to keep it from going out. Grafton gets it back. Starts upfield. A give and go. Bissell got his foot on it to disrupt that advance. Salem dribbling near midfield. Gets by his defender. Sends it to Pospichal. Pospichal has it taken away on a ball that spun up his leg. Here's a nice give and go. And here is a race to the ball. A dive for the ball. No call, which was the correct call. And yeah, that was that Carmen was shoulder that was it. shoulder to shoulder. He just went he just went uh, flying forward and trying to draw trying to draw a call there. Which hey, that's not a bad idea. But they were shoulder to shoulder. There was no push. Carmen, his hands were down, so there was no way he could call anything on that. He would be the he would be not the first player to have done an Emmy Award winning performance to convince an official that there was a foul that wasn't. But right now, look, Grafton, they need anything that can get them some momentum right now would help. I mean, give them credit. They're playing hard. They're still making runs. You know, they're not sitting back and just playing defense. They're making some runs, and they're putting some pressure on Blacksburg's back. But Blacksburg still, they're controlling the ball however they want. Uh, but still, coming up some, they're susceptible to some runs. But they've been able to uh, swat them away whenever they've come. Prosser dribbling, wants to hit Pospichal. Pospichal streaking ahead, sends it over on the side to Shanae. Shanae sends it back to Dickinson. Dickinson will send it over to Bissell. Bissell with a little pop pass in the middle of the arc. It got by Prosser. Carmen sends it to Mills. Mills tries to do some fancy dribbling, does. He had Carmen on the side. Mills in dangerous territory, and in it goes. The assist from Mills to Tate Pospichal. Goal number three for Blacksburg. That that was just some beautiful textbook, textbook soccer right there. Goal number three. A beautiful give and go by Blacksburg. Mills gets the assist on that one. Well, Blacksburg turning up the heat, Ronnie. Three to nothing. This is somewhat what we expected out of the Bruins. I expected them to come out and play the way they've been playing the last month. 
but you know, and I didn't expect them to be up three to nothing in the first half on this team because this team, you know, I expect them to have a lead at the half, but not not three to nothing. This team showed yesterday how gritty they were and how tough they can be. And right now, Blacksburg's doing what they want with them. I mean, yes, they're still playing hard and they're making runs, but when they do, like I said before, just a few minutes ago, Blacksburg's swatting them away, and then they're counterattacking and having runs like they did on the last one. There is most definitely talent for Grafton on the field here. You can tell that. They have some good players. But Blacksburg just has an abundance of good players. Well, it's like I said to start the show. This might be, and this could be, one day the best team that's ever stepped on the field for Blacksburg. Right now, they're one of the best right now, and they have seven sophomores on the field. Pospichal dribbling. He will send it back to Dickinson, who will send it to Bissell. Bissell will send it far across the field. An errant pass by Blacksburg, and it goes to Grafton. Grafton will send it to the back line, and Right now, if you're Grafton, you just want to get out of this first half with no more damage being done. Blacksburg already with three on the board. You don't want to give up something cheap and let Blacksburg get up four. It's already a tough enough chore when Blacksburg gets up by three. Well, with this and with this bunch, it's like it used to be back in the early early 2000s, late 90s, and even late 2000s. If Blacksburg got up three to nothing on you, that's like – for them, at times, one to nothing was like being down three to nothing. When they get up three to nothing on you, it's like blood in the water for a shark. Three minutes remaining in the first half of play. Blacksburg leading three to nil. Goal kick coming for the Grafton Clippers. That's number, I believe, seven. And this first half right now reminds me of Hanley in the, in the quarterfinal game. You know, everybody expecting that to be a nail biter down to the end, and it was three to nothing at the half. So. Blacksburg will have a throw in. It'll be Mills that will send it into Bissell. Bissell dribbling, gets it across the way to Shanae. Shanae back to Dickinson to Carmen. Carmen. In the corner to Mills. Mills loves to work that left side. Prosser loves to work the right side. They attack from both sides. This one will go across the touch line, and it will be thrown in by Grafton. And they've caught on to that little move of his that he uses to get by, and they're starting to sit on that bottom foot and take the ball away from him when he tries to make it. Robin Ehlers has it taken away by Dickinson. Dickinson has Pospisha in front of him. A nice dribble move. Mills sends it in front. Here's the header. It just misses, and Pospisha is there to clean it up, but I think they're going to wave it off. Yeah, Tate was off sides, and uh, Bailey just missed putting that goal in the net. And uh, Tate was behind all the defense and walked it in. That was unfortunate. That was a great cross, and uh, Bailey just didn't get enough of it. So another goal kick, number eight for Grafton. Blacksburg with just two. Under two minutes remaining in the first half. Blacksburg leading 3-0. This is Mills dribbling, guarded by a pair of red jerseys. Into the corner it goes. It will be a throw in for Blacksburg. It comes in to Shanae. Sinead to Bissell, to Dickinson, back to Bissell at the white line. Tries to get it in to Prosser, does. Prosser streaking to his left. The kick comes way back past midfield to Stillwell. He'll send it to Bissell. And that will be the end of the first half of play. A very productive half for Blacksburg. They lead Grafton by the score of three to nil through the first 40 minutes of play. We'll be back with the recap of the first half stats 
and analysis and more when we return. You're watching Blacksburg versus Grafton for the Class 4 Boys State Soccer Championship in Virginia on the NFHS Network. Time in losing PKs or to get beat in a tie game like they did last year on a miraculous shot in the top of the net to beat them in the last minute. So for them, I look for them to come out and just keep the pressure on. And if they can do that, I think they're fine. But if they lay back, this Grafton team's going to come at them and they're going to get back in the game. But I suspect the Blacksburg is going to get Grafton's best shot as they come out of this huddle. I am sure that their head coach, Johnny Yu, said, you know what, guys? Press it. This Put the foot on the gas. See what we can do against these guys. Maybe we can catch them sitting back now on their heels a little bit, get something on the board, and suddenly it's a game again. This first ten minutes is going to be huge. I always say the first five minutes of a basketball game or the first of the second half or the first four minutes of a football game in the second half, well, the first ten minutes here in this soccer game is going to be huge. And if Blacksburg's still doing what they did the first half, then it's going to be Blacksburg. But if they lay back and Grafton's putting pressure on them, say, hey, there's still 30 more minutes to go, and they've got a shot at getting back in this thing. Cade Wheeler starts the second half for Blacksburg. You can see him facing down every ball, no matter where it is on the field. He is running after it. This is Prosser working the right side, dribbling, knocked down. No call. The official letting them play. He's not going to get that. That was shoulder to shoulder, so. Cross it comes up near midfield, but too strong. It cuts through Grafton, and it will be Blacksburg throwing it in off of Salem's chest. Over on the far side, bringing it up field. Doing some nice dribbling is Connor Cheney. Has it taken away? Check that. That was Sam Schott that was doing the nice dribbling. Yeah, they've got Connor playing back in the back right now. Dribbling down the side. Stone Vassa. And Dickinson knocks him down. And it's going to be a foul called on Dickinson. A little bit beside himself. Sitting on the turf. Now he gets up. And this could be something to get it started. As I talk about, this is, you're about 40 yards out. This is makeable for, or for guys, they can get this to the net very easily. So look for them to try to get ahead on this or drop it down to feet. Gabe Murphy sends it in. Blacksburg heads it away. It goes across the far touch line, and Blacksburg will throw it in. Pretty well placed free kick. But the Clippers unable to do anything with it. Wheeler giving chase. And on the far side, it comes back to Bissell. Wheeler simply bumps a defender out of the way. It goes across the touch line. It comes back in. Wheeler this time is knocked down, and I think this time we will have a foul on Grafton. Quick free kick. Wheeler has it. Dribbling into the box, and the shot is on the side of the net. It'll be a goal kick for the Grafton Clippers. They come into this game at 15 and 5. Blacksburg 21 and 0. Blacksburg has had three unbeaten and untied seasons before in 99, 22 and 0, in 2000, 22 and 0, and 23 and 0 in 2002. So Blacksburg trying to get a fourth unbeaten. Here's a nice header and the keeper wasn't able to corral it. Blacksburg had another shot but it was cleared out at the last second. That was a great save though because if he does Wheeler it. with a header and into the net it goes. The keeper got out of the net. Wheeler will be given credit and he is down on the field. Now Wheeler gets up. So Cade Wheeler with his 14th goal of the season, and it is four to nothing. Blacksburg. That one comes at the 36-40 mark of the second half of play. Okay. 
And like we said, first 10 minutes, and right now Blacksburg's picking up where they left off in the first half. I was just trying to say that was a great save by the goalie on the first one, and then it came back, and then Cade got his head on that one and put it in. And the keeper just simply came out of position, and Wheeler was able to sneak in behind him. And we're going to have Wheeler walked off the field by the trainer for the Bruins, Daniel Clark, and the head coach, Shelly Blumenthal. So 4 nothing for Grafton. And now, if ever the words, why not, apply, they certainly apply for Grafton. Why not take chances? You don't have a whole lot to lose when you trail a team like Blacksburg 4 nil. No, that you don't. I mean, and they've got to start taking shots. I mean, the biggest thing is you, you, you've had open space from deep. Yesterday it worked for you. You got two deep goals out of it. They haven't attempted to get anything here, and they've actually had a couple opportunities when they've been down here where they could take a, a 25, 30-yard shot. But if you don't take that shot, you're never going to know. And right now what you're doing is not working. Blacksburg gets it back. This is Salem dribbling. Starts to his left. Has Mills. Mills tried to feed it ahead to Prosser. Taken away momentarily by Grafton. Back it comes to Mills. On the far side, in comes a cross. A little too strong. And we're going to have an offside call on Blacksburg. Well, if you're Blacksburg at this point, Ronnie, you don't want to start getting complacent. You want to continue to play hard. No, you keep putting it on. Uh, you try to score as much as you can at this time because there's plenty of time left. If you want to start pulling people and and too early and start sitting back a little bit, do it with about do it inside 20 minutes. But if you do, then you need to still be up about five or six. So as of right now, four goals can be scored in this amount of time easily. But what Blacksburg can do now, though, Ronnie, is you can avoid some unnecessary risks. Like if you're going to try to make a slide tackle and there's a chance you could get hurt, you may just want to hold off of it. Exactly. Just play play solid defense, but don't, don't do what you don't need to do. Don't be overly aggressive, you know. But don't be tentative either. But work the ball around. If the shot presents itself, then take it. Otherwise, keep passing. Make them chase. Make them use energy. Right Prosser there. has the ball near the box, dribbling three red jerseys near him. He's still able to maintain control. Now it's taken away finally. Shanae tracking it. Up it comes to Daniel Hoffman. He dribbles it around Salem, sends it past Dickinson, sends it long, headed back the other direction by Blacksburg. Mills has it across the way. Comes across the white line, still dribbling, sends it over to Salem. He sends it, and I think Bailey Prosser had stopped, and Salem thought maybe Prosser was going to continue towards the goal, and it goes across the far touch line in the right corner. The near touch line, I should say, in the right corner. It'll be goal kick number two for Grafton. Header is controlled by Grafton. Bailey Prosser bumping, and it will come the other direction. Grafton will have a free kick. Hoffman looked like he was going to take it. It's going to be John Lee instead, it looks like, that's going to take it. Right on the white line, about five yards into the field from the near touch line. In it comes, headed by Prosser towards the middle of the field. Pospichal was angling for it. Back it comes, Blacksburg unable to corral it. Able to send it up field. Crafton dribbling. This is Ehlers. Knocks down Bissell, who pops right back up. 
Taylor sends it over to Lee. Check that, it's Tongvasa. And they just will not, they just will not give them any room and we got a, got a penalty in the box. Who's it on? Oh, they're calling on Grafton. They're gonna call it on Grafton. I thought there for a second they were gonna call a PK. I couldn't tell for the umbrella. Jordan Stevens will make the free kick and he will just roll it up to the captain, Austin Bissell. He sends it upfield to Dickinson. Dickinson sends it to his left across the way. Up to shot. Salem. It's Mills. Mills wanted to get it to Pospichow. Booted it out. Blacksburg will throw it in just to the right of the Bruins bench. And one benefit to the players right now, Ronnie, is the shadows now are starting to creep out onto the field. The brick buildings across the way are providing some nice shade on the benches of both sides. Oh, definitely. Well, I know they've got it on the Blacksburg side, but uh, Grafton's sitting in an open space where it's sunk back in. So if it wasn't for the tents, they don't have that shadow to them yet. But it'll be here very shortly where we won't see the shadows anymore. 30-25 remaining in the second period of play. Blacksburg comfortably in lead, in the lead, four to nothing. They would love to get a little bit more. Bissell is going to step away. And the officials waiting to restart play. It was a yellow, he called and threw a yellow card on somebody. What number was that? I did not see the yellow. Yeah, because he's, he's having to come off the field and uh, he's writing in his book and put something in his pocket. So, and they're, they would have had a substitution where uh, Carmen would have gotten a game. Otherwise, says it has to be a, it had to be a card. Might be Thung Vasa. Let's see. Across the way. Can't quite make out the number from this far away. I think it might be Thang Vasa. I think it's sure. number three is who it was. Thang Vasa. Here's a cross in front of the net. Blacksburg not able to put it in. Knocked away. Shanae was trying to get it back. Able to send it upfield as Grafton. They're going to call a foul on Sam Schott. Not a popular call among the Blacksburg players that are here. Jordan Stevens goes up high in the air. To take that one, rolls it on the ground to Alex Mills. He's able to get all the way past the midfield stripe, dribbling. Upfield it comes. Dickinson dribbling it. Gets it into Shanae. And we're going to have a stoppage in play, and they're going to say Blacksburg was offside. So the keeper will set it up on the goal line for the kick, and it looks like, Ronnie, that the original keeper, Andrew Sabachik, is back in the game. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Head comes a long kick. On Vasa. So it, well, the it wasn't him, it obviously, wasn't him. with the yellow. Up it comes off of the chest of Ehlers, who kills the ball nicely. Dribbling, guarded by Shanae. Sends it over to Hoffman. Hoffman tries to get a pass in, but it's booted away by Forsman. No, I believe the, chest the of Dickinson. I believe the card was on his brother, number seven. And here is Sam Dickinson with a chance to get the ball in the net. 
Dribbling around and tried to get a little too cute, a little frustrated, smacks his hands together in frustration. He should have taken the shot. It's like you had a shot, take the shot, instead of playing around with the ball, and that cost him a, a goal scoring opportunity. Mills will come out, coming into the game. It looks like from a distance it's going to be Gabbard, and it is. Kim will also come into the game to give Prosser a break. Prosser walking down the end line. He'll turn left and head back to the Blacksburg bench. In comes a long throw in. Header and into the net it goes. Looked like an own goal off of Joey Gabbert's header, so you'd have to give Gabbert the goal, but it came off his head into one of the Grafton defenders' leg and into the net. So Gabbard will get credit for it at the 27-30 mark. Blacksburg ups the lead to five to nil. And if you're watching this game in Blacksburg on the NFHS network, and we hope plenty of you are, well, you may not begin the celebration just yet, but you could maybe start the detailed planning. This kick will go across the near touch line, and Blacksburg will throw it in. Henry Carmen into the game. He sends it up in the vicinity of both Gabbard and Shanae, and we'll have another foul called, I believe, on Grafton. It will be a free kick for Blacksburg right in front of us. Well, 5 nothing, Ronnie. I think you could confidently say this is going to be almost impossible for Grafton to come back from. And the one thing you don't want to see is the game to get out of hand, get a little bit chippy. Well, that's true. But, I mean, you still, you you keep your starters in now and, and just work on things. Work on your passing. Keep keep passing the ball around. Work on your defense. Uh, don't, don't do anything stupid to draw frustration out of Grafton. Uh, don't overly challenge if you have to challenge normally but don't go for these slide tackles don't shoulder to shoulder through people you know but but still play play the game jordan stevens will have a goal kick coming up for blacksburg he drops back takes his approach sends it spinning up near midfield off the chest of shanae Back to Carmen. Carmen back to Shanae. Booted away by Grafton. Battle for the ball. Carmen able to get it back. Has Gabbard to the right. Also had Dickinson. Dickinson breaks free. Let's see if he puts this one in the net. And he does. Sam Dickinson scores goal number six. And Blacksburg is turning it into a route. At the 25-40 mark. We have to give that assist to Shanae. That was a nice feed through. Well, we saw this yesterday, Ronnie, when Blacksburg was playing in the semifinal and Loudoun Valley took a one-goal lead on Blacksburg, the first time Blacksburg had trailed all year long. That lasted all of four minutes, 21 seconds. Blacksburg tied it up. They won it 6-1. to one. And Blacksburg flexing its muscle here this afternoon. Well, I, I knew this could happen. I didn't think it would. I figured Grafton would give them a run, uh, you know, give them a fight just because of what I saw yesterday. But honestly, Blacksburg has done this to some very good teams in the last last three or four weeks. Uh, you know, you look at what they did to Hanley in the quarterfinals. I mean, soundly beat them. Look what they did to Loudoun Valley yesterday. That team was 20-1. and one. And then what they're doing to a quality Grafton team right now. I'm going to tell you what, this this is a, for the rest of the state, at 4A, you better hope Blacksburg drops down to 3A because this could be scary. Right now, they're young. This is a bunch of sophomores and juniors and two seniors. This is a program that defines the word excellence in 
soccer. Both the girls and the boys, but particularly the boys for Blacksburg. And it looks like Grafton will get their first corner kick of the day. Talking about Blacksburg and soccer. Then you've got Christiansburg with their 17 consecutive state titles in wrestling. There are some good athletes in southwest Virginia. Well, and you look at Salem with their nine, their seven or eight state titles in football. You know, they're the only team in football that rivals Hampton. Uh, you know, southwest Virginia, people think, oh, it's a bunch of hicks down there. But you know what? They know how to play ball. That they do. Jordan Stevens will retrieve the ball, set it up, and boot it ahead. Comes down to Kim. Bissell headers it in his direction. Back it comes to Shanae. Shanae will send it back to Carmen. Carmen ahead to Shanae, back to Carmen, back to Shanae. He'll drop it back to Evan Z, who's in the game now for Blacksburg, because the Bruins can start substituting rather liberally with this kind of a lead. Dickinson feigned the pass, got out of the way, hoped to see it go to a teammate, but Grafton takes it away. Justin Leppa heading down the side, gets it in front of the net to Chase Green, and out to deflect it away is Jordan Stevens. And if you're grafting right now, you keep working hard and you try to score. It's like, hey, let's get a goal. Let's start from there. You know, don't give up. Play till the final whistle. Get a goal and let's go from there. See what happens next. And right here, we've got another set piece, another corner. So let's see what they can do. And it comes, and it's going to be an errant kick. It's going to go left of the net. And it will come the other direction. It's an opportunity lost there for the Clippers. Well, the Clippers will find out there's no shame in getting drubbed by Blacksburg. There is plenty of company around the state for this. But it's got to be disappointing to have given up six goals in a state championship game. Well, they don't have to look very far. They can just go right down the road and ask Jamestown what it's like. Jamestown's first trip here. You know, they got on the go on the board early against Blacksburg and went up one nothing and proceeded to get beats five to one. So but then Jamestown came back two years later and beat Blacksburg five to nothing in a state title game. So, you know. And a Bruin is down at midfield. Up. Looks like Austin Bissell. Looks like the captain. That is Bissell. He is up, but He pops up, trying to gather himself, shaking up just a little bit. Austin Bissell is one tough customer. He's it would not, take a lot for him to come out of the game. He's not one that's going to come out. And when he stays down, he's hurt. Carmen over the white line, sends it in. Cleared out by Grafton. Z sends it back to Shanae. Shanae. Along the far side to Kim, to Bissell. A little bit of a give and go to Kim, but Grafton able to disrupt that plan. Battle for the ball. Z will send it over to looks like, Shanae. Looks like shot. Or shot, I should say. And now they got Bailey on the back line. Or no, so that's still Nick Stillwell over there. Gabbard gets it into Shanae. Shanae gets it back. Bissell sends it forward. And the keeper comes up to get it. Sabachik will send it forward. Race for the corner. And this one is going to head over the end line and Looks like we're going to see Jordan Stevens pulled in favor of the freshman keeper for Blacksburg, Brady Schott. Younger brother of Sam. Get him a little state championship game experience. 
Also coming out, it looks like, is shot. Sam shot. We'll need to call our shots now. We'll need to call no, Sam, and we'll need to call Brady. Yeah, you got, well, and you got, uh, yeah, Brady Buchanan just came in. Shot, sends it upfield. Little backspin on that one. Up it comes to Gabbard. Bissell begins the advance. Sends it long to Shanae. Into the corner. Shanae knocked down. No call. And taken away by Grafton. Now we will have a delayed call and we'll have a free kick. Coming up for Blacksburg. And now you might want to start getting some of these kids out. Getting more of the others in there. And I think that's what Shelly's doing, trying to do two at a time. Get some of them out. It will be Bissell who will make this free kick. In it comes in front of the net, deflected away by Grafton and booted up near the white line. Carmen. Sends it up in the air. Z headers it to Bissell off his chest. On the side to Gabbard. Back to Z. Bissell sends it to Carmen. Captain to captain on that exchange. Across the way to Brady Buchanan. Taken away by Grafton. And it will go across the far touch line. And it will be... Looks like Blacksburg throw in, but we got throw a substitution in. first. Looks like Gabbard is coming out. Shanae's coming out. Coming in for Blacksburg is Sean Coble. And coming back into the game is Bailey Prosser. And they want to get the senior, get him a curtain call, hopefully here in just a few minutes. 17-25 remaining in the game. Blacksburg leading by the score of 6 to nil. Shadows starting to come down on the far side of the pitch. Prosser dribbling into the corner, able to maintain his balance. Waits for white jerseys to get in front. Bissell lets it go to Salem. He was trying to feed Coble there in the middle and just... A little too early. Mills has it taken away. Here comes a long pass, and coming up to booted away is Brady Shot. Blacksburg throws it in. Kevin Shaver into the game, number 23 for Blacksburg. And ball goes over top of the Blacksburg bench outside of the gate that surrounds the field. A new ball will be put in play. The foul was apparently called across the way. Bangbasa sends it up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman dribbling, being guarded by Forsman. Continues with the ball and clearing it out of the way is Blacksburg's Evan Z. Fifteen forty-five remaining for Blacksburg. They will win, barring a comeback of epic proportions by Grafton. Their first state title. Since 2013. Since 2013. Battle for the ball. Bailey Prosser goes down. Here's a shot attempt. Still not on pawn goal, but by Robin Ehlers. Just the second shot of the day. Still no saves. Here's a header that goes awry, and one of the players looks like maybe he cramped up right about the time that he started to rise up to I think header he, the ball. I think he rolled his ankle down here just a few minutes ago, and he's trying to walk it off. 
pass too long for Mills. That one will head across the touch line, and Grafton will throw it in. Unbeaten, untied Blacksburg. They trailed for all of four minutes, 21 seconds in 2018. That's almost hard to fathom. There's only uh, been one team at Blacksburg that uh, did it better than that, and that was their girls. A couple years ago, trailed for a total of zero seconds for the year. When Chris Martin was in the pipes, no goal scored during the field of play. She gave up two penalty. Well, actually, she gave up one penalty kick, and her backup gave up one penalty kick after the game was decided. So that is even more hard to fathom. Hugs across the way for Bailey Prosser from the head coach, Shelly Blumenthal. This will be Bailey Prosser's last game. He's one of the two seniors. He and Austin Bissell. Bissell heading off to Radford University to play soccer collegiately. And substitution also occurring for Grafton across the way. Now play gets back underway. Bissell dribbling. Sends it back to Evan Z. He sends it into Coble. Coble across the way. Deflected. Jazz Sheeler into the game for Blacksburg. Deflected out, and Sheeler will throw it in. In the middle of the field to Bissell. Showing some nice dribbling. Bissell takes a shot. And that is save number two of the game for Nathan Haas. Chaz is the only football player on the soccer team. <laughs> Throwing it in across the way from Blacksburg, Brady Buchanan. Able to control it is Coble momentarily. Back it comes to Buchanan. Buchanan sends it over to Coble. And Grafton intercepts. Back it comes to the near side. Battle for the ball. Blacksburg not giving up one inch of territory. Alex Kim battling hard for the ball. Back it comes to Bissell. He sends a long one in and a little bit too strong. That will go across the end line. That will be another goal kick coming up for Grafton. Are they changing the call? Are they going to call this a corner? Looked like Austin Bissell was headed to the corner for a moment. Looks like, is that Chaz Sheever heading over there? Looks like Tweeter's going to take this kick. And Bissell is getting an ovation as he comes off of the field by his teammates. Coming in for Bissell is Gabbard. It's a big hug from his coach, Shelly Blumenthal. That may be the last time the Blacksburg sees their captain, Austin Bissell, on the field. Here is a corner that is reached up and taken out of the air by the keeper for Grafton. 10, 50 remaining in this second half of play. Blacksburg leading 6-0. And Chad will be one of those guys next year for Blacksburg. It'll be their corner specialist. He's... He's one that's got that in swinger, can bring it around, put it on the net. Not as effective as Bissell is at this point, but he's still got another year or so to go himself. Grafton with an offensive advance here. Nice pass in the box. Blacksburg contesting it. It goes across the end line. It'll be off of Grafton, and it'll be a goal kick, a goal kick for Mr. Shot. Brady for Blacksburg. And now if you're Blacksburg, you're just wanting these last 10 minutes to get off the clock. Nobody get hurt. 
be able to celebrate a state championship and bring the trophy back to Blacksburg, where, quite frankly, all of Blacksburg thinks it belongs anyway. Up it comes to Henry Brunsma into the game for Blacksburg. Sends it back to Alex Kim. Kim dribbling, dribbling, sends it to Brunsma. Goes through Brunsma. Here's a long shot attempted off of the foot of Joey Gabbard. Joey Gabbard. Under nine and a half remaining. Sabacek puts his foot into it, sends it upfield. Headed the other direction by Brunsma. Battle for the ball. Kraft unable to control it. Sending it upfield. Blacksburg able to intercept. Dribbling across midfield is Buchanan. Gets it over to Coble. Coble sends it to Brunsma. Brunsma stops. Has it taken away nicely. Very nice tackle made there by Isaac Monteith. Kim gets it back. Sends it to Gabbard. Gabbard pushed from behind by Hoffman. And it'll be a free kick for Blacksburg. About 30, well, not quite 30, probably 20. Yeah, we'll say it's. That's about 30 yards. About 30. I would say this is probably either going to be uh, Jazz Sheeler or uh, or Kim take this one. Two players go past it. One player goes past it, I meant to say. Ball controlled by Blacksburg. Gabbard dribbling. Sent it backward with his right foot. Grafton player takes it away, but there's another white jersey to grab it back. Z gets it across the field on the far side, now in front of the Blacksburg bench. In comes a long pass. Shaver wanted to still it and do something with it. Could not, and back it comes. Z sends it forward. Gabbard has it taken away from him. Here's a pass for Bongvasa. Gets it ahead to Hoffman. And give Grafton credit. They're still pushing it. They want to get yes. something on the board. They're playing hard. They're trying to score. Gabbard gets his legs intertwined with Bongvasa, and it'll be a foul on Gabbard. Give Grafton credit. You're down six to nil. You could just pack it in and say, Golly, let's just get on the bus and get out of here. They're not doing that. No, and they're playing with class, too. A lot of teams at this, the frustration sets in, mm -hmm. and you see a lot of cheap shots. Uh, there hasn't been hasn't been that. So you got to take your hats off to them. This is a, this is a well-coached team. Uh, they're, they're coached to you play to the last horn, you give it everything you got, and you play with class. And hats off to Grafton. You know, good luck to them in future year, in future endeavors, in future years in soccer. I mean, they're going to be around for a while. they got a good group out here. Um, it just, today wasn't their day. And, you know. They ran into a juggernaut. That's, that's the only word you can use to describe Blacksburg. This is a juggernaut. And this is a team as scary good as they are. They're young. They'll be even better next year and two years from now. Look out. Well, that's what I was saying. This team has a chance to be the best that's ever played at Blacksburg. And the 2008 Blacksburg Bruin team, they were nationally ranked number one in the nation, lost in the state semis, but they were the best team that's ever come through at Blacksburg High School. This team has a chance to be better. So free kick is coming for Grafton. 
about the same distance Blacksburg attempted theirs just a few minutes ago. Call it about 30 yards out. Well placed, headed away by Blacksburg. That was Henry Brunsman that was able to clear that one. Under five minutes to play. Gabbard sends it out to Shaver along the side. Up it comes. Grafton able to control it. Racing for it was Brunsma. Couldn't get to it. Here's Thongvasa. Kim has him from behind. Thongvasa passes it. Here's a shot. And it's going to go high above the net from Hoffman. And that is only the first time Hoffman's taking a shot tonight. I mean, you got to take your hat off to Blacksburg's defense, too. Um, you know, these two, both Green and, and Hoffman, and the third one. Uh, Robin Th Naylor's was all Region 4A, yeah, and a good player. And Thedris, those guys, they were putting shots galore on Chancellor, and they have managed one shot from the three of them. So you got to take your hat off to that young back line of Blacksburg as well. Stoppage in play as we have a substitution for Grafton. Going out is Janosek coming in. Can't quite make out the player's jersey. The way the sun is angling right now, difficult to read player numbers on the field. Gabe Murphy will take this free kick for Grafton. Right down in front and slightly to our left. He sends it in. Off the chest of a teammate cleared by Blacksburg's Henry Brunsma. And that one went past the end line. Goal kick coming for Blacksburg. Getting it back is Hoffman. He sends it in, and here's a potential shot. They're going to call offside, though, on. Looks like Green. Grafton's number 13. Number 13, Green. Well, it's been that kind of a day for Grafton. You get your first real chance maybe at getting a point-blank shot, and you're offside. Dickinson sends it up ahead to Carmen. This is Gabbard. On the far side, Blacksburg now just trying to drain the clock. Up ahead it comes. Back the other direction and back again. Chaz Sheeler will throw it in across the way. And less than two minutes remain for Blacksburg. And if you're watching in Blacksburg, you can start that celebration right about now. Harmon sends it up near the midfield stripe. Headed by Kim. Kim headers it across the touch line. And who said 13's unlucky? Looks like Blacksburg could possibly be uh, closing in on a pair of 13's today. 13th state title and a 13th Wells Fargo Cup. 13 and 13. Sounds pretty good if you're a Blacksburg fan. Yes, it does. If you're a Grafton fan, not so much. If you're if you're a uh, Loudon Valley fan, not so much as well, because coming into the season we were uh, coming into the season Blacksburg was five points ahead of of Valley, and both of them had numerous teams left in it. And I think it come from what my understanding was, it came down to this today: if Blacksburg could win the title, they pretty much locked up the the. Uh, the cup, so. Well, Oscar Smith certainly doesn't like that number 13. No. And their, uh, their reign of dominance is having the most of them comes to an end as well. So congratulations to all the Blacksburg 
Athletics. And there this it season. is. Blacksburg wins the 2018 Class 4A State Championship. And Shelly Blumenthal gets a Gatorade bath across the way from his teammates. From his team, I should say, and from his teammates on the coaching staff. And Blacksburg, this is where they wanted to be the last four years was right here and good sportsmanship being shown by both clubs out on the field right now.